This week I discovered a really cool PowerShell version 3 feature that I wanted to share and a static blog just wouldn't do it justice so I decided to do a video even though I don't normally do videos. If you've ever worked with WMI and the get WMI object commandlet, you know how difficult it is to figure out what the namespaces and classes you're looking for are. Usually you have to go to MSDN or you use the list parameter with the get WMI object and sometimes you can get lucky and figure out what you're looking for but sometimes you may have to find somebody else's blog who's done the same thing but PowerShell version 3 is going to change all that PowerShell version 3 includes some new sim commandlets and one of those is get sim instance And the cool feature that I was talking about earlier is that namespaces and classes with this new commandlet are discoverable using tabbed expansion. Now this week on PowerShell.org in the forum section there was a question about about IS and it a user wanted to retrieve the shutdown time limits for all their IS application pools on remote servers. And there's a couple of different ways to do that, but one of the ways is to use this commandlet and this namespace. And I know the class name is going to start with IS, so I'll just narrow it down to that. And then I can use tabbed expansion for it also. You can see there's a lot of parameters, but one of the parameters is shutdown time limit. And then also name, which is those are the two those are the two properties that we want. So if we want to run this against a remote computer, there's actually a computer name parameter. And you could use get help on this get sim instance commandlet to figure out that it's got this property parameter. But I've uh, I've used it before, so I'm familiar with that. And what I'm doing is filtering left, or I'm filtering the the properties down at the source, so that I'm not retrieving all these properties only to bring them back to my machine to filter them down at that point. And if you didn't use the property parameter you would be doing that if you just piped it directly to select object. Now you'll notice we still, it still looks like we re retrieved all the properties, but you'll notice you've only got values for for the few that we specified. So it displays all these other ones that don't have values. So even though you specified the property parameter, you're still going to have to pipe it to select object and select the name and shut down time limit. And the last thing I'll do is pipe this to format table auto. And just because I want the columns to be as narrow as possible. So uh, working with WMI just got a lot easier with PowerShell version 3 since the classes and namespaces are discoverable now with tabbed expansion when you're using the get sim instance PowerShell commandlet. Get sim instance also uses WSMAN which is PowerShell remoting instead of RPC which is what get WMI object uses so it's a lot a lot more firewall friendly. And this completes this video. Be sure to visit my blog at MikeFRobbins.com and feel free to follow me on Twitter at, at MikeFRobbins. Thank you.